Oh, wow. Wow. That is really nice. Can you guys see that? That is really nice. Filtration looks good, like absolutely good, but why is it dirty? So this guy, I really hope you're watching. Why is it dirty? But that's fine, it's gone. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So finally, 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 I've received a bunch of new things. And I've been waiting forever to get some of these things, and there's gonna be more coming up throughout the week. So let's take a look at what we've got here. So let's start with this. This is that Sunny Sky kit. This is the ESC and motor kit. It's around, I think, 150 bucks. And um, if this performs as a premium setup, then we have a huge ass winner on our hand, which uh, should be in theory pretty good. <clears throat> now I wanted to see the ESCs because I don't remember. Oh, wow. Wow. That is really nice. Can you guys see that? That is really nice. Filtration looks good, like absolutely good, but why is it dirty? So this guy, I really hope you're watching. Why is it dirty? But that's fine, it's gone. So what do we have here? We have BL Heli S ESCs 2 to 6S. They're pretty massive. Uh, I don't have an ESC next to me to currently compare. But filtration looks good, so if you're going to be running 4S, it's going to be nice. And also, if you are going to be running a uh, 4S as well, this will add a little extra weight than usual. Now, there's no heat shrink, but there could be heat shrink hidden away somewhere in this box. So, yeah, it, it's really nice, guys. Like, really nice. We do have some really good filtration on board. So, that is just, just a huge... Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to actually test these guys. All right, let's see what the motors look like. Motors as expected. Very smooth, very smooth. What is this? Uh, the, what are they? 2305, 2480 KV. These are going to be monsters in the air. I really love Sunny Sky Motors, actually. Sunny Sky Motors are really nice motors. Uh, they're really, they're premium. I would consider premium motors, uh, personally. I don't want to ruin this now. All right, so this looks absolutely phenomenal. Um... <clears throat> I wish the pictures really did it justice, but um, yeah, this thing is, uh, it's even packed very well. I mean, I haven't seen anything like this actually in a while, so this looks proper, proper. Well, only time will tell. First, we'll start by testing the ESCs with our normal testing setup, because we haven't tested ESCs in a long ass, fuck this, in a long ass time, so that's something we're going to be doing. Hmm, as you can tell, what is this? The FR Sky X Lite. So yeah, the first one I received was just dead it was dead on arrival so i told banggood i said hey what's up you know the one that i received was dead uh it was providing me by banggood for review but the reason why i wanted it also is because we wanted to do the mods however the first one that i got i got was the black one so i'm really curious to see the red one also because this one, it says it's red on the box there so let's see oh wow this is yeah if you're gonna choose i Definitely would recommend you get the red one Like 100% I mean it depends on you, but oh my god. It looks so sexy. It just looks like a Ferrari Really nice really really nice, and I can't wait to test this one out before I start doing the one I'm actually gonna test it make sure it's running and we'll see that in a later video because I need to Hack some batteries together for that. All right. What else do we have? Hmm. Let's see. Let's take this one here What is this? I think I've got a bunch of airbot things, so this is possibly some of the airbot stuff. Let's see this. Yes, this is the airbot Ori 32. It's a 20 by 26 stack, actually. You got to be careful. I just dropped this. I would have been screwed, kind of. So it does come with the manual here. It's the Ori 32 4 in 1 Beal Heli 32 ESC. So it's a 20 by 20 stack. And uh, filtration. It's like a mini Tico 32 in a way. Oh, wow, the camera so far. So it looks, it looks really nice. Look at the standoffs here. It is soft mounted, so they both do have rubber gummies in there. It really looks like it's actually really nice. I mean, I'm going to be stuck here saying it looks really nice. Um, yeah, this, it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous, actually. Uh, so let me put this in here because I don't want to lose this, and I have a tendency to lose a bunch of shit. So I'm trying not to lose anything. All right, that's enough. All right, so we'll see. We're going to be testing this in a later video. I will possibly actually test this on our 30 by 30 
uh, testing setup so we can see how well that's going to perform. So let's put this guy to the side. All right, let's see what else do we have here. All right, what is this? The DYS Aria F45 amp ESC. Now we know the DYS Aria is in the top three ESCs of the standalone ESCs and they can run up to a 6S. So this is the 4-in-1 version. Now usually when they switch up to a 4-in-1 version, doesn't always make it good ESC. So that's something you need to take note of. Filtration looks pretty minimal. Uh, you do have a nice heatsink on board. Components seem to be far from the uh, from the standoffs here, from, from the whole of the standoffs, which is really good because that was the issue with a couple ESCs that came out. So as I can already tell, there's a 5 volt, oh is that 9 volt? Is it a 9 volt? I can't tell, but I think it's a 9 volt. Is it 9 volt? Yeah, it is 9 volt. So I, this could be the 9 volt regulator right there, that's where you access it from. So this thing is looking pretty nice already. Uh, we will test its 9 volt. I'm just taking a look at the board. So yeah, we will be testing the 9 volt regulator on board. I don't know where the 5 volt is accessed from, but probably through here. But this is really nice because this can go straight to your uh, VTX. Hopefully that it's clean. And this does come with a, uh, a flight controller that you can connect to it. It kind of comes together in a way. But from my previous experience with the DY DYS flight controllers, I personally avoid. I don't know if they fixed the issue. But this is my, you know, I, I, I wouldn't, if this was good, I wouldn't put it with the DYS flight controller. That's just me. So, from my experience. So, this is going to be hella nice. This is going to be a really good week for us. You know, it's been so long since I've tested things. Finally. All right. Let's see what else we have here. This thing is so freaking awesome, guys. Like, n no joke. Um, I cheated and I took it out. It's actually bigger than it looks. I mean, like... A lot bigger than it looks there we go that's proper right there look at this so this thing isn't basically it's a screen and an FPV receiver built inside so we could just boot it up with just holding the power button and then we can take the antenna out and it charges via micro USB it's only like 40 bucks I remember when this thing was like around 80 bucks so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in a quadcopter for you guys to see here's we go Okay, so the camera's not focusing, but yeah, there we go. You see that? It's 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 a nice screen. It's a pretty damn nice screen. I don't know if you guys are gonna be see that on camera, but it's really awesome. I and mean, you could pick the channels through here, just one button. Want to switch through those, and if you want to switch A through F, you would go ahead and do that. Uh, it's it's very light. It's actually lighter than you'd expect it to. So uh, I will be taking this apart and seeing if we can do some crazy stuff with this, because um, it's really nice. Look at it. I, I don't know. I'm just in love here. <clears throat> I'm really glad I got it to be honest like very happy that I got it I don't even know what else it comes with and to be honest I really don't care what the hell it comes with the overall thing is is just beautiful so yeah all right let's see let's put this to the side so what else do we have here I also picked up this this is a flight controller with a VTX built in usually they're not that great but we uh, per, uh, from previous experience I don't know how they're gonna do it now if it's gotten any better or not but um, usually it's just, it's not that great at all. So yeah, I just thought I'd stop recording audio. So let's just take a look at this. This will be tested somehow. I don't know just yet. So what do we get here? We get some, all right. So we, they give you some heat shrink. They give you a capacitor. What kind of capacitor is this? It's some kind of Chinese one. Um, could be some kind of a Chinese low ESR or supposedly. Here is the, it's using IPEX port to... I think RPS, I mean, no, actually, I think this is SMA. And uh, you have, okay, so basically this whole thing, what it seems like is the PDB, and then, oh, that's really nice, actually. Okay, so I didn't couldn't see this, so, okay. So basically the flight controller is a module on the PCB board here, as you can tell here how it's soldered in. So can you see that? So it's really nice, I really like that, kind of. And um, what that does is it keeps the heat away from the whole board. And if you take a look at the VTX, it's actually just... Um, um, off the board and I'm just trying to see how it's connected. It's connected via pins Which are glued and soldered All right, so this is this is nice. I mean, it's nice. That's all I can say we do have We don't have telemetry. I thought we had telemetry for a second USB uh, Looks pretty interesting now. I don't know which will be the top and the bottom, but obviously we'll figure that out soon but it seems to be that I don't know, we'll figure it out soon. So let's just put this guy to the side because we got a couple more things left 
And uh, I picked up some really, really old quadcopter uh, that was in the market a long time ago that I really, really wanted. And I finally got it. <clears throat> it's called the Rodeo 150 from, uh, what, what company was it? I forgot, but we'll see right now. All right, let's see this. Okay, so we got two quadcopters here. We have this one, this is the Geb RC, which one is it? The Phoenix 2.5. So this is a 2.5 inch bind and fly, which will be tested very soon. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, so born for FPV, that's really nice. Let's see, this is what this one looked really sexy online. And I'm curious how it's gonna look in real life. Oh, wow. That's really nice, actually, guys. That's really nice. So what kind of motors is it running? 1106, these are 1106? Why do they look so huge? Am I missing something? Why do they look so big? They're a lot bigger than the Emacs 1106. Or maybe I just haven't seen those in a while. Yeah, this this is this is pretty nice. You have a low ESR capacitor in the back, as you can tell right there. Um, the motor is 1106 4500kV. Maybe I would have probably liked 6000kV. But I'm just saying that out of my head. I don't know how good it's going to be. And what kind of VTX? How is this connected here? It's really sturdy. I can tell you that from right now. Like... You're not going to be yanking anything off of this, so it's really well made. Um, let's see the bend test. Oh wow, this is really nice for a three inch. So yeah, this is this is going to be pretty interesting. We're going to be taking a look at it. We'll probably do an overview video and try to do everything in one video on this. And I also got another Geb RC quadcopter, and it's called the Elegant Five Inch. So let's take a look at this. Let's take a look. Tomorrow I'll start testing the ESCs, so uh, tomorrow will be the first video out. But if you guys want to see one that's specific, for example, if you wanted to see, uh, what is it? What the hell, how the hell do you do this? There we go. All right. So it's, it's obviously closed. It's never been opened before. The sticker is fucking everything up. There we go. All right. So this is the elegant five inch. Okay, so we get a bunch of stickers, we get all these things, we get this nice little paper here. Actually, you know, they, they've they've really stepped up their game. It's really nice. Let's see. Alright. Okay, so there's some props and stuff down there, but I just want to see the quadcopter itself. So motors for Geb RC are, are made by RCN Power. Uh, this thing really feels good. And they're using a run cam here. All right, what else are they doing? The ESCs can't really tell. It's really nice. Look at, look, at, look at the execution of this. I have no idea how this is gonna fly, but it just looks absolutely awesome. Everything's looking pretty good. Look at the execution of the wires also. Really well thought out. Bend test. Ooh, it does have some flex. So I'm glad they didn't put an ICM gyro in here. So we will see how all of these perform. But before we go, um, I do have more AirBot ESCs on the way, but those are stuck in customs, like a lot. And we're going to be doing a lot of those testing. But let me know what you guys want to see first. You guys want to see the Ori 20x20 stack or the DYS Aria? Or the F3 ESCs. Or this guy. This one is just really awesome. I want to do some kind of a mod. Let's see what else it comes with. Just a charger. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, it comes with this kind of charger. Uh, I would have just plugged it in the PC. So this probably has like a 1S one, one in there. And that's the uh, that's what tells it it's full or not. So it's taken apart, I think, with just one screw. But you guys have no idea. I don't know why I'm such so in love with this. It's really nice, like really nice, actually. I thought it was going to be, you know, you know, have you seen those like cheap pl plasticky things that come from China? That's what I thought it would be like. And um, let's see. Yeah, I got to get my antenna out here. <laughs> oh, shit. How do you do it? There we go. So you pull this out. That's what she said. And then you lift it up. There we go. Now I can see my quadcopter. So this is this is just really awesome. You have a freaking analog LCD screen with a with a receiver built in here. Obviously, you're not going to get the best range, but it's really nice if you lose your quad and you're just 
next to you instead of keep putting on your goggles and off and if we somehow put a you know just put a patch antenna and some osd on this it'll look it'll do some crazy things you know what we can do we could even put fat shark modules on this if i wanted to we could totally do that i don't know what the hell we're gonna do something with this that's for sure that is 100 percent sure there's gonna be more project videos and more mod videos the project videos are gonna be pretty awesome because uh I teamed up with PCB way or they they teamed up with me basically they said why don't you just make your projects into a real nice PCB and uh, just makes it all around more professional and better so we're gonna be making the ESC tester the FPV drone finder the BLE beacon all in PCB hardware layouts and possibly a quadversity ground station uh, with being as cheap as possible possibly not sure yet depending on how much time I have to draw up the schematic send it and do some testing but it should be pretty interesting. There's going to be a lot of new things and a lot more testing. And yes, so everything's back to normal, in my opinion. And let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys think of anything. What you'd like to see first mods, the ESC test, the Ori 32. Let me know down in the comment section. And um, yeah, and that's it, guys. So if you guys like this content, please consider joining my Patreon. It'll do the channel really good. And you can really support the channel just a dollar two a month can go an absolute long way. And plus, I do a lot of giveaways there. And um, yeah, and that's it, guys. So everything here is going to be linked down below. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.